Hello and welcome to the SWS Classroom Chat. Today we are going to discuss the strategy for the ICSC Class 10 Physics paper. And joining me live from Jamshedpur is Mr. Satish Rao, who is a senior faculty of physics. Uh, Mr. Rao, thank you very much for your time. Uh, one paper, if I may say, which has troubled a lot of students in previous years has been the physics paper. It has always been a bit of a googly, tricky questions, which is a little bit of a this time we, they have a four day gap, uh, 29, 1, 2 and 3. Is this four day gap enough for students who have not perhaps prepared very well for physics beforehand? Yeah, I think four days which they are getting is quite sufficient mm -hmm. for them. And I do agree that uh, physics always has been a bit tricky and it's not about being tricky. It is actually children have that misconcept. They think physics is just like other subjects learning. Yeah. Physics is not about learning. It is about yeah. understanding. Correct. It is about getting your basics correct. Right. If your basics are right, I don't think physics, physics is a very, very, very interesting. But the, they can do wonders. Absolutely. I think I believe that everything has physics in it. So Absolutely. they should see the things yeah, around. Yeah. Everything around us has physics in it. So uh, do you think the googly comes in their lack of understanding and they look at it like, okay, book mein hai, ye definition hai, definition ko ratta maar lo. That obviously does not work. Yes, sir. That, that is what I tell all the ch all those children. Mm. Wherever I'm teaching, I tell the children that you did not, means you should know what it is. Like mm. learning, if suppose yes. I learn something yes, and I just put it in a little different manner. So the child mm. might not know about it. Like mm. I just wanted to give a, a small example, sir. Yes, sir. Like suppose a question is given of center of gravity. That is the first chapter force. Yes. Okay. In this, suppose I tell the center of gravity of a rectangle, children would answer. Center mm -hmm. of gravity of a triangle, children mm -hmm. would answer. But if I just change the question, like suppose you you are going on a trek, okay, you are climbing a hill. Yep. What do we do? Mm -hmm. Do we walk straight? Mm -hmm. No. We bend. Yep. Why yes. do we bend? Mm -hmm. Why do we bend? So that mm. the center of gravity, we yes. are adjusting the center of gravity. That is Correct. what is there. If suppose yes. I just twist the question that while climbing up a hill, a person bends forward. Yes. The child is telling the child doesn't know the answer. Why? Because mm. he should be well versed with his basics. Yeah. While walk, while climbing, while we are getting down the hill. Suppose mm. while we are going up, we are bending forward. When we are yes. Coming down, you need to yeah. bend back. Yes. So that you are adjusting the center of gravity. Right. Correct. That is as simple. But suppose this question is given in the boards, mm. children will not answer. Mm. They know center of gravity. But mm. that is where the application, they of that concept, the application of that concept to daily life situations is where concept, you think that is where the lack of eyes. Like if I give them a mm. light, a ship mm. which is lighter. Mm. Okay, that is more liable to overturn mm. when it is in the sea. A mm. lighter ship always you will see that it is overturned, but a heavier mm. ship will never overturn. Yeah. Again, center of gravity because lighter mm. ship, the center of gravity may mm. move above wow. because suppose the wave comes, a bigger wave comes, it will take the ship up. Yeah. As a result of which, the center of gravity will change. Hmm. So this are the things which the student should connect that if yes. you are taking a topic, you hmm. should know that huh, that topic has this application and then until they so they tell that physics is tough. It is not right. at all tough. Right. You need to put it in that manner. Yes. So uh, while I mean, um, uh, we are looking at approximately 12 chapters in about seven units. Which of yes. these chapters do you think the students need to focus a little more so that they don't get, you know, 
bold by googlies of this nature where they are not able to apply the concept and uh, understand it well see i think calorimeter mm. is a very 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 important because in terms of the reasoning questions as well as the numericals mm. that is a very very important chapter then yes. you have light yes. the entire part of light refraction mm. through plane surface yes. diffraction through lens spectrum yes. Yes. So these are the areas where they need to work a little bit mm. more, so that okay. they would be able to score. Like, let's see, getting 50s, 60s is okay, but you need to get into the high 90s. Yes. That is where it is. Otherwise, so see. Get... So, um, uh, so if you mention okay, calorie. But... You mentioned calorimetry, you mentioned light, and of course, there are other chapters like sound and electricity, etc. What are the common uh, mistakes that students make apart from what you just now mentioned? Apart from these, what are the common mistakes that students have made in previous year board papers or perhaps students made during the pre-board papers also? Like, sir, see, when I take, like, suppose I take, I'm taking calorimeter. Okay, hmm. calorimeter, we should understand the basic, like, hmm. what is specific heat and what is latent heat yes that is like suppose i am giving them ice at minus 10 degrees celsius going to water at 20 degrees celsius now they should understand that when ice at minus 10 so it cannot go directly to minus to 20 degrees water mm -hmm. ice at minus 10 should come to zero degrees ice Hmm. Zero degrees ice should go to zero degrees water. From zero hmm. degrees water only, then it will go to 20 degrees. Now, yeah. when it is going from minus 20, minus 10 to zero, I am seeing hmm. that there is a rise in temperature. Hmm. Whenever hmm. there is a rise in temperature, I am always hmm. talking about specific heat because hmm. that is the heat which is required for raising of temperature. Hmm. Hmm. And when I am talking from zero degrees, ice hmm. to zero degrees water here i'm seeing that there is no change in temperature but hmm. heat is constantly being supplied that heat hmm. is being supplied only hmm. for the change of state that is a hidden heat that is latent yes. heat latent heat yes. and from minus and from zero hmm. degrees water it hmm. will go to 20 degrees water so again yes. there is a rise of temperature temperature in this, if suppose the con this concept is clear, now suppose mm. I give them a question that mm. I said zero degrees. Mm. Suppose I want, I am, I am having a cold drink. I want mm. to cool it. Mm. I can use zero degrees water. Mm. I can use zero degrees ice. I have both the options, but mm. I will use zero degrees ice. Why? Yes. Because zero degrees ice first has to come to zero degrees water. And okay. for this change of state, okay. it requires heat. Yes. How much heat? One gram is taking 336 mm. joule of heat from the water. Mm. So as mm. a result of which, I am seeing that the water is losing heat. Mm. So the, it will get more cooled. So yes. this concept has to be there. So your numericals, everything uh. can be taken care of. Yeah. That is where children... Yeah, no, it's very fascinating to listen to you as you explain with the ex help of all these examples. So you mentioned numericals at the end now. So obviously they need to practice a lot of numericals, numericals of this kind where there is also some kind of a practical application which is woven yes. into the numerical, right? Yeah, that is that has to be there. Like in some numericals, what they will give a power will be given. Okay, power is like this much watt. Okay, mm. the power. Re required to the change of state is suppose 40 watt mm. okay. but in some numericals they will give that the power required is 40 joule per second mm. now the child gets the uh, required is 40 joule per second he is mm. used that 40 watt is there in the question in the textbook but here yes. they have changed it joule per second mm. now the child should know that joule per second is nothing but it is also what mm. the joule is work second is time yes so work by time work by time is pa. so they so these are the things which 
the children they when they see this kind of things they get confused and right. most of the time what they will give that joule per kg per mm. kelvin mm. okay and in the question it might be given in terms of gram mm. like 100 grams of ice requires this much amount of mm. heat the special mm. heat capacity and the latent heat is joule per kg or joule per kg per kelvin or like this is given but there they again miss out mm. one is one unit is in cgs unit and the other mm. is in xi unit so they need to convert right so many children so don't convert yes so conversion in the units those are some of the very common mistakes which are uh, made by students which the children they make yeah that so if they are working with them either in si unit or in cgs unit and any right. one only they should do they should not right. they cannot do yeah. with both the things Right. So, uh, assume. I mean, um, what would you suggest that students do? Assuming that the preparation is pretty much top notch, what would you suggest to students uh, to do in the last twenty four hours before the examination? Try and um, solve more numericals, or look at PYQs, or look at sample paper books. What What would you really suggest should be the last mile uh, revision strategy? Because see, sir, now I think they should see some. Free papers from some mm. other schools. Yeah, the pre papers. Yeah. The pre papers which are there, if they can get at least three, four papers from different schools of their yeah. facility and that they helps. try to solve three, four papers, mm. it yeah. I think helps uh, in a very great manner. Because yes. see, if they solve the last 10 years' papers and all, I don't give that much preference to those because pattern keeps on changing same thing yes so if suppose four or five papers of your vicinity hmm. so those all will be of the same pattern pattern yes. would not change and you yes. have like six seven hundred eight hundred marks you are solving correct Absolutely. so in that maybe some questions would be there that would correlate with the paper so you will have right. a better idea of, about of solving yeah. those papers that's a good idea i i i, I always advocate pre-board papers are a good way of uh, kind of testing yourself at the last minute yeah. a, a day or two before the examination my final question uh, mr rao uh, what should be the time management strategy should they go in the same order as the question paper is or they should play around with the order of questions i mean part one and part two no, actually what what i feel the children they do when they get the question paper Hmm. They start from section A. Hmm. They will just because section A though as it is is it's compulsory. Yeah. But the main test lies in section B, hmm. where you have so many options. Hmm. Now, when the child sits and starts solving the paper, so he will be very confused because section A to 40 marks you have to attempt. Yes. But section B, you have seven questions. In that yeah. you need to answer only four. So you yeah. have to make a choice beforehand, which yeah. are the four questions you know the best. best. And you can get 40 mm -hmm. on those four questions. Yes. That you need to select. Sometimes what happens, some children they will do in so suppose they are attempted now, they don't have they will see question five, they have started. Mm -hmm. A they know, B they know, C they don't know. Now C will be a four marks. Now they will go to then question six. Again, A, C, they know. B, they don't know. Again, they are losing three marks. So like yeah. that, they are trying to attempt hmm. many questions. So better that that 15 minutes initial reading time, which is there. The that should they, be. they should think that huh, these are the four sure short questions, which hmm. I will answer. If time permits, they can go for some else but that four questions have to be done mm. because 40 marks mm. and section eight you know, as it is you have to that is yeah. so compulsory you so even by so after making the choice would you suggest that they start with section uh, b instead of part one or they should still do part one first because see the confidence if suppose he's getting that much confidence that suppose mm. Section B, I can 
I am very well versed with. I know mm. everything of it can be. Mm. So that might boost his confidence. Correct. Suppose Point. he is thinking that I mean, this 40 marks is my sure. And mm. I can attempt this 40 marks in a span mm. of suppose one hour or 30 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever mm. it is. Mm. So that might boost his confidence Both. more. Absolutely. Sometimes what happens, like if initially when you the MCQs and all, if you get stuck somewhere, that confidence level will fall down. Yeah. And yes. that would hamper the second part also. So Correct. that is what I suggest. Right. The rest is this see the children already they mm. are with the they have been made to think in that manner. That all the mm. teachers and all that also I will tell the teachers also that you should always not tell the children that no physics is tough. Physics is not tough. Mm. The we have made it tough. It is, mm. I think, the most interesting subject of all. If the child is made to think in that manner. Think in that manner. Absolutely. I completely agree with you 100 percent Thank you very much for your time and all these tips. And I'm sure the students will gain immensely from this and put this into practice, implement it before the exam and also during the examination. Right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. It was very nice of you to let me be with no, you. No, let me sure talk. Is no, no, sir. Actually, if it would help at least some of the children also, I would think that it would be very great yes. achievement for me. Absolutely, so sir. Thank you very much. If anything is there, sir, I'm always right. there for the children. Right. Thank you. Okay, sir. sir. Thank you very uh, much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.